hello guys welcome back to a brand new video on the Basil fx so in this episode guys i'm going to teach you one of the simplest forex strategies that anyone can implement to their trading system and become profitable guys so without further ado make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're new around here make sure to turn the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our weekly videos and guys let's get started with this video So uh, guys, today we're going to be looking at a very simple strategy. This is one of the simplest strategies that I learned when I was still, uh, when I was just a beginner trader. So this is something that really helped me to get started with Forex. In a way that it's very easy to implement, guys. So if, you are, if you're just a beginner trader trying to see how you can, you know, play around with the market this is the the uh, strategy for you guys it, it has some little bit of price action and then mostly support and resistance so the strategy that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to teach you today we are going to analyze on the big time frame because you know me i don't like trading on the smaller time frames because the big boys the banks and institutions uh trade on uh, big time frames so why would i trade on a smaller time frame I wouldn't be like retail traders most of the retail traders fell in the market is because they trade on smaller time frames and the big guys trade on bigger time frames so guys the strategy is very simple what we want to do is identify the previous candles low and high so guys what you want to do first on any currency beat it uh us 30 beat gold beat your usd the first thing we are, we are going to identify the previous low and high so what you want to do is zoom in very well like you zoom in super zooming in you see until you can see the previous candle so to this candle here this was uh yesterday uh, today's candle and then uh, this is today's candle guys as you can see up here we are on euro usd chart this is euro usd chart and we're on the daily time from so this candle right here this one is the uh previous candle so yesterday was a uh, wednesday yeah yesterday was a wednesday and today is thursday so today today's candle is this one which is thursday and today uh yesterday's candle is this one so what i'm going to do is just mark out the previous low and high of the previous day guys so what i'm going to do is just come here just like this you see you mark it out very simple like this so you can see guys i've marked out the previous low and high of the previous day so let me do this oh how do i do this okay so this is this is that candle you see i've i've lined out that's the the previous candle so what i want to do so the reason why i am lining out that candle like that is i want to see its previous high and low so what i'll do i'll go into the smaller time from so a time from like four hours so when, you, when i jump onto the four hours then i'll zoom out like this so the reason why i marked out that guys is because market is going to give me a clear support and resistance it's going to show me yesterday's low where price fell to uh really go down and then yes the, yesterday's high as you can see yesterday's high was this one right here this was yesterday's high you can see guys that was yesterday's high and then this was yesterday's low that's the lowest point price went so the reason why i do this because the new candle is going to open and it will want to either break yesterday's high or yesterday's low guys this is how simple forex is very very simple guys the previous candle i mean the new candle won't open and either break up it will either want to do this let me show you it will either want to break retest and go up or you see break retest and then go down and you can see where price now headed to price came down you see so this is the first step we do guys we first mark out the previous low and high guys this is a very simple strategy even when you when you're doing support and resistance this strategy will help you you know mark it out very perfectly then just you know uh coming here and select okay this is where support is like you know you put it there okay this is what i see blah blah no guys no this is very simple to do so guys when i do that now i'm going to add one more indicator this is an indicator that i love to use it's called macd the macd this is a very good indicator you see moving average convergence divergence so this is a very indicator and we use it for very many things so guys this is your usd trade this is a trade that i took today and i best off using this simple strategy very simple strategy I, I all the only thing i had to do is make sure my my uh, risk management was on point 
you know you never want to go wrong with risk management then though your strategy is good in very many ways all you have to do is manage your risk you know so guys when i draw out this and this uh -huh, then this is what i had on my um macd so the macd uh, is a very nice uh platform uh, is a very good indicator that it shows you uh it shows you momentum from the buyers or the sellers so right here we, how we can see when when we have these big big you see these big big uh how can i call them volumes on the macd it shows okay the buyers are strong or the sellers now you can see here price was coming in a downtrend you see here price was coming in a downtrend you see here and then you see what we had on the macd we had big volumes you see and now here when price was about price was trying to go back up see but that was just like a mere retracement then you see what we had in the macd we had price also doing the same thing like what whatever price does it, the same thing happens with the macd so the macd just reflects but again if you're someone who is wise you can definitely be able to use this now when we go we, when you reach a certain level like this this is where things become tricky here you see so me that this kind of market i call it a consolidation market i can't trade there you see when you take a trade there price is just going to be there yeah like here you see let's say if you take a trade here price will be up and down profit loss profit loss you see so what i want to is identify the same thing on the macd now let's look at what we had on the macd we had a low volumes these low volumes uh they represent low uh, volatility in the market there's low volatility in the market meaning there's no volatility there price is not moving very fast you know there's no movement there so what i want to do is identify now when is volatility going to come in and one of the best ways is uh to identify like really reversal candles or candles that show indecision now you can see here we had we had a very good in uh candlestick you see here guys we had a doji candle a doji candle represents indecision in the market price may either go up or may come down but again as i told you uh, in my uh video about candlesticks we don't only receive one candle sometimes we can receive the second candle as you can see the second candle we received you can see the second candle we received the body was pulled down its body was pulled down and you know that represents uh 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 it represents our sellers uh in the market you get you see so guys now for, at, at that point i knew okay now price is about to shoot down so what i did since i didn't sometimes price can break out and retest sometimes it can just break out like this but again for me since i i saw volumes here i knew this market was going to this market was going to uh, break out with a very strong candle guys that's what i knew it's going to break out with a, a very strong candle and the reason for that is because guys whenever you are trading in the forex market you, you you don't only base on to one thing you have to base on to very many fun, uh, factors so not just the technical factor the technical factor is you know drawing out the support and resistance and all that then again identifying these volumes knowing okay anytime soon volatility will come in so the first the thing i identified there were news that we are going to drop today guys we had some news that dropped today and then market was crazy the market was crazy guys see this big candle this is like a marbuzo candle never these candles drop these are news candles what i did was just set my sell stop i set my sell stop like at the breakout you see here then i'll mark that uh, let's make this big like this and then make it color blue that was my entry guys then i marked out my take profit i put it on these weeks you see these weeks here here and here since price uh price that's why i to enter then again i put my stop loss just uh in there like that so i'll mark that trade and then i'll mark this green since that was my take profit so guys this is how i took this trade since i saw volumes most of the cases i can just you know wait for price to break the previous low or high and then retest and then take trade sometimes that is possible but again where i saw that there was less volatility less volatility it means there are more there's more volatility going to come in you know whenever you see a market that is trying to consolidate to correct in a funny way you, you most, most of the cases you see volatility coming in crazy guys so this is how i secured profits and this when this candle guys dropped price was crazy even when you look onto other charts you're going to see a very big candle there let's look onto this one you see how you can see guys you see this big green candle this is news this is the same time when this candle just dropped at the same time when that big candle dropped you see guys so 
like it, these things happened like all around even you can see even here if i was to take a trade on to here i would just mark out the high and low of the previous day and then you can see price broke out and started just wanted to start to go up even here guys i would if i uh, let me first finish up with this euro usd then explain to you how you take a trade on that other currency but again here guys i just used the how to set us i just used sell stops yeah because the sell stop it just means price will find you in there and then just take you to profits guys yeah so this was like really a short trade uh, i just managed to, to grab like 20 pips and you know when you're you're using uh when you're grabbing 20 pips 20 pips and you're trading on a, a big account so guys if i'm using a 20 lot size a 10 lot size 20 pips that's a lot of money guys that's why i recommend most of you guys to use funded accounts guys because funded accounts you have more equity and if you want to if you want to get a one funded account guys just check the link in my bio and get, and get funded right now in less than 24 hours you'll be funded guys and guys we before we go any further make sure to subscribe to this channel and let's continue so let me come to you you uh usd uh usd card so this this is the usd card trade so most of you guys know if the euro usd uh is going up i mean down it means these other currencies will be going down so let me first remove this mark d uh no let me leave it so let's let's come to the usd card so since now here the usd uh, is the best currency aha uh -huh. so this is what we have guys as you can see so this was our previous candle as you can see this was our previous candle right here this green one this one that i'm tapping now that was our previous candle then what, what we wanted is price to break out the, the today's candle go up and break out or break out down as you can see and guys this strategy works every time you can see price can never just be in ranging it has to come up go down you see so whenever it's going down it's pre breaking previous lows or previous sizes you know so when you have marked out your candle properly like this one then you come to the smaller time frame so that you can see in between where price is ranging in between so this was very simple uh let me put this back this was very simple guys this was very very simple so what we had was very simple we had price you know giving us these impulsive moves and then retracements again impulsive moves and then retracement you see guys again after this we we knew a big candle is coming in you know oh we knew that um the now the retracement is done price has to go back up that, that was like obvious that's like price action guys that is price action you know whenever we have big impulsive moves you know retracements have to definitely come into place that was very simple guys this was very a very simple trade that i didn't take it i'm not a fan of usd card yeah but again you can see price broke out from ye yesterday's uh price broke yesterday's high you see now this red candle what this red candle means price is just trying to retest to see if it can come back in so now this red candle remember this black line is not just representing the previous side of yesterday it's also representing resistance so guys whenever price breaks a resistance line that resistance after now it becomes support now you can see here price has broken now this has become support that's why even this red candle has now rejected because now this is just a support you know so it has just come here to find support and then continue to go back up but again we always need factors to consider like some factors now as news and all that so depending on what news we have tomorrow we shall see uh how market will move but again this is very simple guys as you can see tomorrow we have news and then guys you see these small flags here these represent news guys I don't think these are just here for decoration <laughs> these represent news but that, this was very simple guys as you can see price was forming higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows you can now see where price now reached and price had failed to guys just look here price failed to break here failed to break here this was a strong zone so meaning price had to you know do something price had to do something either break here or come back and break this down here but again guys we always need to be active we always to be we need to be active you have to be able to identify you know you have to be able to identify a lot of things guys you need to be able to identify a lot you cannot even see what i'm identifying now guys this is called a rising no not a rising wedge. this is called an ascending triangle this is an, an ascending triangle and you can even see here we have in the w pattern here you see the w pattern so price is supposed to go that way guys you know when i'm trading i want to consider very many factors i don't want to just look at forex in uh, just this strategy guys i'm teaching this strategy but you have to be able to look at different factors and all these factors have to like uh move in line with 
uh, like let's say if you 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 uh, predicting a buy let all the factors be buys you see now even have a pattern here remember guys i made a video about patterns patterns you can even be able to trade patterns and just take trades with patterns so guys this was a very very simple strategy it applies on any currency guys any currency guys even you can see even here if i'm to apply it here it would have like a good trade there you see price was coming in you know you know dropping retesting dropping retesting you know now a drop you see <laughs> guys this is a very very simple strategy this is a very very simple strategy guys all you have to do is uh all you have to do is uh just mark out the previous high and low of the previous day i'll come back here to your usd guys as you can see so this is our your usd what you do is just mark out you go into the daily time from mark out the previous you just mark out the previous high and low of the previous day so let's choose this and then first the big these big things okay so guys as i've said uh let me move even this mark d so what i've said guys what you want to do is mark out this previous you mark out this previous uh day then just wait for price to wait for signs for price to show you that okay it's going to break here retest and then go back up or do just do the uh, the opposite that's what we want we want to see from the price so guys if you have enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to this channel guys i'm going to bring in more and more quantity quality content and before i go guys make sure whenever you're using any strategy just make sure you have a good risk management plan because the good risk a good risk management plan it will help you a lot even though a strategy is very good how price can always go against you sometimes but just make sure you have a good stop loss guys and don't forget to check out uh, more videos we have here guys you see this is the Basil fx we have hit uh 3.38k you know subscribers guys thank you for the all this we appreciate videos are going viral like you can see in this video right here you see perfect beginner for strategy we already hit uh we already hit a lot of subscribers as you can see here you know more views guys i'll see you in my next video uh don't forget to subscribe button the notification bell so you don't miss out on our clear videos i'll see you in my next video guys